Hi, I'm David Ayers. I own Ayers Guitar Co. I'm here with J-Rock at Audio Design's workshop series at Guitar Gallery in Scottsdale where I have my little repair shop. I'm going to show you a really simple uh, way to uh, fix a loose jack on a hollow body. Um, oftentimes on these guitars there is no lock washer in it, so that's going to be our first priority is putting a lock washer on the inside to hold it steady. Now, obviously with a hollow body no, ca no uh, you know, cavity access on the back. We need to fish the jack out through the F hole, make sure the connections are good, and then we need to get it back in with the proper washer. So I've got my little uh, thrown together tool that I'm gonna show you, um, show you how, I, how I do it. I've already got it fished out because it's boring watching me try to get it out of there. So, got your standard jack. Connections are good. They didn't get, uh, even though it was loose and people tried to tighten it, looks like nothing bad happened there. All right, so we've got the jack. We are gonna put on a washer and a lock washer. And then to get it back through, I have this little tool that I made. I basically looked through my drawer of broken, uh, broken cables. Any self-respecting guitar player should have a drawer of broken cables. Uh, I find a pancake cable take it apart and I soldered in a, uh, a guitar string. Now this is an old trick I think Frank Ford developed and if I'm not mistaken, Stuart McDonald actually sells something that does just this, but either way, get it from them or uh, make your own. Now I'm gonna plug this, plug this into the jack and you'll see, I have it coming out here. Now it doesn't really matter if these fall off while you're, going, while you're putting it in there because in order to get the jack in, they have to come back on. So. And you can see in there what's going on if you need to. Sit the guitar up. And there we go. My jack is in there. I'll take my washer and my nut. Put them over the guitar string. Drop them down and get this started. Now, one thing you don't want to do when you're doing this is spin that jack around a bunch, but luckily you have a lock washer on there. So if you're careful, you can get this nut started. All right. So once you have the nut started, keep a little pressure on it. Get it finger tight so that lock washer engages. That'll keep it from spinning. It's nice and tight, and so give that a tug and pull it out. Get pliers or a nut driver and tighten it right up. All done. 